I started blogging in 2002. I was one of the first, among the first legal professionals to start a blog. And uh, the reason I started blogging was I had written a book about the internet for lawyers. And uh, no sooner did the book go to press that I realized it was already out of date because technology and the internet were changing so quickly then, and that was 2002. Um, and I was looking into ways to be able to keep my readers more current uh, on, a, on a more current basis and decided to try a blog. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure I would ever go back to writing a book again. I think a, a blog is a much more effective tool for communicating timely information um, and uh, for, for being able to provide updates you know, as soon as things happen. So, uh, it's, you know, the advice I think first of all is to understand that it is work. It does take time and effort, as, as, you, as you well know. I know you do a lot of blogging. Uh, the, probably the best advice is, is to stick with it, to set aside some time to work on it every day. You need, for somebody who's just starting blogging, uh, you have to get into a routine. You need to develop a voice, get comfortable uh, with, with that voice. Uh, and. You know, it's best if you can identify a niche that you really want to focus on. For a lot of lawyers, that's going to be a particular area of law. Uh, in my case, I write more about technology uh, and, and information resources. But for a lot of lawyers, you're going to want to identify an area of law. And, and don't feel dissuaded by the fact that somebody else is already writing about that area of law. Uh, because uh, really the challenge to you is to, is to to do it better, to do it different, to, to provide different kinds of insights. Uh, I was at a program this morning. We were at, here at the AAAL. We were talking about the fact that you know blogging uh, is really kind of building up a body of scholarship in much the way law reviews used to be in the legal profession. Uh, increasingly, law librarians here and, and other legal researchers are looking to blogs uh, as uh, material for helping them to understand both particular developments in law and general trends in law. So, so stick with it, I guess is the advice. Uh, I do think, you know, I think it's, I think there's been a lot of discussion over the last year about whether blogging is dying and, 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 and uh, again, I, I a, interested to see at a program this morning, uh, just a lot of interest uh, in, in, as I was just saying, in, in the idea of blogs as, as scholarships, blogs as information sources. Uh, I don't think blogging is dying in the legal profession. It's just the opposite. I, I think that blogs continue to be both important ways for lawyers to be able to kind of market themselves and get their name out there and build credibility for themselves, but also important ways for other legal professionals to keep up with what's going in the, on in the law, whether for news, research, or whatever it might be. Uh, you know, you look at blogs like like SCOTUS blog that have become the go-to source for Supreme Court reporting in this country. Uh, you know, I think blogs have a, a very strong and established role uh, in the legal industry right now, and that's not going to change anytime soon.